Okay, so let's look at an actual exercise so you can play around with that uh, concept or principle. It's more a principle actually, it's circles and triangles uh, than a concept. Um, I know they sound similar, but when I say concept, I mean more in relationship to uh, teaching and learning. Um, and I just use those different terms just so we know what we're talking about. Um, but principle is the where I'd like to classify this just for our overall learning. Now, a good way to practice this, um, the shapes concept, uh, is firstly just cracking through with a triangulated uh, position. So what you can do is you can put your hands together like this, facing your opponent, kind of like just a clap there. You can either go fingertips or even clap your hands together. So this will help, because it will give you a bit more robustness of connection through the heels of the palm. And then as Carson keeps, so he comes back a bit, just more like a, a stand shake, what you can do is you can just hold if you've got a training partner, is just hold with some pressure like a statue uh, or even like this, it's up to you. And Carson's just going to step forward with that, yeah? No, no, step forward with your shape. Oh. Yeah. Into me. So he wants to make sure, so even though the structural shape is here, he wants to make sure his direction and mass is into me. Now, another way to think about that is as though Carson's belt is replacing my belt, because then he'll actually be cracking through into me. So he goes again. Yeah, good. Now, what... Do it again and, and pay attention to what happens. Do it again. See how Carson's pushing with his arms? He doesn't need to. So, so if he holds like this, yeah, I do not need to use my shoulder strength here. So give me more resistance, right? More, so stop me moving. No, stop me moving, yeah? So I don't need to push against him with my shoulders, right? It's the shape and the movement of my body that takes care of it, yeah? You see, I didn't even need to change the formation or movement of my shoulders. I'm not trying to push him away. I'm just trying to step into his space with this shape. You see how very effortless it is when you step your center to their center with this shape in front of you. It allows you to crack through. So Carson does it again. Shape on. He doesn't push from his shoulders, yeah? He just centers, feels his body and steps forward without pushing from the shoulders. Yeah, you don't need to, you see? So it's the power of that shape. Have the difference? Yeah, I Yeah. So, have a go at that with your partner. Palms flat like this, and you thought we are finishing the <laughs> Stepping forward, yeah? Stepping forward into their gut. Now, once again, this is not a combat exercise. It's just an experiential exercise to get an understanding of how this shape works. Stepping forward with the triangle against pressure. Now, and this, this actually translates straight into guard. So, if Carson puts his hands up again into like a just a type of wedges or a boxer style guard. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's literally the same thing, except now you don't have this connection. It's much easier to do in this shape because you've got that physical connection, but it's the same principle here. I'm just keeping my triangulated stance and stepping in. So if you want to, you can play around with that as well. Uh, if you don't have a partner, uh, mirror, uh, or heavy bag. If you've got a heavy bag, that's a good one because the bag will move for you as well. So there'll be give with the heavy bag, yeah? Um, so get one of those if you don't have one. Um, the dummy could work too if you've got one that slides on the rails like our one does. You could actually step through and let it slide back and forth on the dummy as well. Um, stick two poles together. Poles on either side and then we just... Where? Like, stick them in the ground? No, like, yeah, you can do that as well. Um, or get yeah. someone... Can they hold it? If you've got someone, then they can hold it. you've got someone, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so try that. I mean, you could pull to the ground, I suppose. Or actually, I mean, yeah, they'd have to have give though, not, not like a, a telegraph pole, because you're the one who's going to get moved with that one. <laughs> okay, so have a go at that. Um, if you do have any questions, once again, chuck them in the community, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.